as you can see, we've got another Star Wars The Black Series figure in front of us. This time it is Sergeant Creel. And I'm going to be honest with you, uh, this is where my knowledge of Star Wars kind of ends. Uh, so I'm going to be a little bit of a poser here. I don't know much about the figure. I am a fan of anything that is uh, trooper related, so that's why I picked him up. I'm definitely going to have to do some research and learn more about Sergeant Creel. If you've got any uh, suggestions as far as where I should start, uh, make sure to uh, comment down below. So what we're going to do first though, we're going to take a look at the outside of the box here, then we'll go ahead and unbox him, take a look at his articulation, take some pictures, come back and talk about some of the things that I like and or dislike about the figure. Of course, I'm going to have a hard time comparing him because I don't know that much about the figure. <laughs> oh boy. All right. I'm sure I'm going to hear that down in the comments. All right. But as far as the box itself, uh, I like it when Hasbro has done this. Uh, I believe these are for comics or in the books. Um, so they've done a really good job so far um, with this. I like that a lot. And you can see the comic there. And we can see him on the back with the lightsaber, which is super awesome. And then we've got the book format here with Sergeant Creel. So really like that. He does open up. You can see that uh, he does have the Imperial symbol there. Uh, we do have the lightsaber. We've got his blaster. And then on the side, inside side here, we've got Sergeant Creel. Sergeant Creel, formerly undercover agent 5241, serves as the leader of an elite group of stormtroopers. Task Force 99, better known as Scar Squadron, under the direct command of Darth Vader. All right, so let's go ahead and take him out of the packaging. And this guy is already starting to come undone, but let's see what we can do as far as the best way to unbox them. I'm not sure, actually, to be honest with you. So we're going to go ahead and take that there. And hopefully that's enough, and we'll be able to get them out of the box. I really wish Hasbro would not include these pieces of paper, but oh well. All right, so have his blaster. Looks a little bit different than maybe not. Uh, looks pretty much like a standard trooper blaster. Uh, what is not standard, especially with the trooper, is going to be this lightsaber. Do my best to get this off of here. Don't want to bend anything. tape lately has been like super adhesive to the, the packaging which is good and bad all at the same time all right i'm gonna cheat let's go bloop. and bloop. well that's enough to get that out there we go sergeant right there all right you get everything cleaned up and we'll be right back all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the lightsaber first uh now we got everything cleaned up uh it's got kind of the plo Koon style uh lightsaber hilt it is uh black here no real uh coloration on the buttons or anything and then we've got the uh the silver here at the uh the emitter there uh, and it's a green lightsaber, which is not what I would expect with a uh, <laughs> somebody that is uh, on the dark side. Uh, but uh, again, I don't know a whole lot about this figure. Uh, again, more like a poser than anything else uh, on this one. Uh, and then we've got his blaster uh, that does fit in the, in the holster there. Speaking of the holster, let's go ahead and also take a look at all the other things that he has. Uh, he does have a uh, little wrist thing there. We've got a pouch on his arm. We've got a pouch on his thigh. And then we've got another pouch on the other thigh. And then we've got the back area here. None of these actually come off. Um, and then we've got the pauldron as well. I should have said that. Um, so, yeah. Um, I mean, overall, he's a good looking figure. So I'm happy to add him here. Um, again, I don't know that much about him. I don't know. If typically uh, especially about the lightsaber uh so i don't know if i'm going to pose him with the lightsaber or not but we'll see um all right so as far as articulation head has some good tilt uh which doesn't always happen with the pauldron there um and all the way up and 
The only way you're going to get this off is if you wanted to take off the head. I'm not going to do that. Arms, decent movement, which is good. And movement at the elbow, not at the upper arm. Although he's got a good movement here at the shoulder. Surprising how good that is, actually. That's better than a lot of the other ones. So happy with that. Uh, this is going to give us a left right. Again, at least 90, maybe a little bit better on that one. And this is an up down. Torso, good movement. And thigh. Nothing is attached at the thigh to the to the torso, so that's good. So he's, you're able to get the full twist there. Uh, just a single knee. And that's that. All right. So let's go ahead and take some pictures. If you have any questions while I do that, make sure to ask down below. And if you're liking the video, give it a thumbs up. Let's see how he actually looks. So what did you think of Sergeant Creel here? Uh, as, like I said before, I don't know that much about the figure, so uh, I'm basically just gonna be critiquing him as a figure in general. Um, I, I mean, comparing him to other troopers, I think he's got great articulation for that. Head tilt is good, a little bit messed up, a uh, little bit uh, restricted because of the pauldron there. Uh, however, the, L, uh, the shoulders, I. I don't know if maybe I'm wrong or not, but I feel like it's got a little bit more articulation than a typical um, trooper would, and I, I, that's gonna be helpful, especially with the lightsaber here. Speaking of the lightsaber, uh, I mean, I've never seen a trooper with a lightsaber before, but overall, I think he looks really good with it. Um, I Like I said, it looks a lot like a Plo Koon style uh, lightsaber hilt. Uh, there is no uh, place to put the lightsaber, however, when he's not holding it, which I think is a real shame. Uh, I think it was a good opportunity for them to do something with it. Uh, they do have the holster for the blaster, however, which I'm happy about. However, he's definitely right-handed. Uh, so uh, the, the left hand does not really hold the blaster very well. Uh, you definitely need to be holding it in the right hand, which I showed in some of the pictures there. Speaking of the holsters, um, there are a bunch of other um, accessories or um, things that are on him, uh, like the the wrist area here. We've got the uh, the hip, uh, and then we've got the the uh, another thing on on the other hip there, and then we've got the back area as well. The uh, oh, I should say the upper arm. All of these move quite a bit. Um, so as you're posing them, you're definitely going to want to be uh, cognizant of that. They will move. Um, but, uh, I mean, I think they look cool. Uh, but again, I don't know that much about the figure. Uh, so overall though, I think he's a win. Um, he, you're, he's definitely not going to be an army builder because he's a very specific trooper. Um, but I think he's a, he's a great pickup, uh, if you are interested in him. So with that, if you've got any questions, make sure to ask down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting, like Star Wars and Star Wars the Black Series, obviously. But we also do other things that a professional geek might find interesting, like home automation, electronics, gaming, going to theme parks like Galaxy's Edge. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I try to share things that are of interest to me and will hopefully be of interest to you. And with that, have a great day. Mm -hmm.